a legend, Mike Faber, the former Bison great. And Mike, it's great to have you back. Talk about being honored here today. It was uh, it was exciting. It was exciting. It was all. It's always good to come home. And I love uh, I love Fargo. I love NDSU. And um, it's humbling. You know, it's really humbling. I played on a, with a lot of good teammates that I believe made me look good. So it wasn't just me. I had some excellent teammates and incredible coaching. Talk about the honor of actually being inducted into the College Hall of Fame. It was uh, surprising, but yet exciting. Uh, first of all, being uh, considered along some of the greats to ever play the game, that was, uh, that's humbling. But uh, the event itself was wonderful, and to share with my family made it even more special, and my Bison family as well. You had a lot of success here with NDSU, winning two national championships when the team was in Division II. What's it like coming back and watching them play so well at the D1 level now? Well, it's nice. It's nice. We won three national championships. <laughs> but uh, it, it, it's fun. It's, it's, it's to see them compete on a different level, which I think the level that they belong on, to see the type of athletes that they're bringing in and the quality people makes it even better. Talk about what NDSU gave you off the football field. They gave you a great education and a chance to further your life. Talk about that opportunity as well. Yeah, that's a great question. Uh, and for me, uh, I could have played at a number of places much bigger than NDSU. But when I came here on a recruiting trip, it was the only place that I came to on a recruiting trip that said, if you come here, you're going to graduate. And that's what was important to me. Um, we spent the day talking about academics the first day and the second day talking about football would set the tone and the expectations for what's, you know, how things are done around here. It's always been first class. Um, they're trying to get even bigger and better, but they're doing it the right way because they're including the community, they're including the equity piece for the women's athletics as well. And it's just, uh, it's a good fit and it's an excellent, excellent education with some quality people. I love the, 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 the people here because people believe in rolling up your sleeves, helping your neighbor, but there's no excuse for hard work. And we worked while we were here. You continued to work when you left. You went on, you got your, your master's from Hamlin, and you're actually you're working on your doctorate right now? Is that true? Sure. Cha I'm on chapter three of five. So, um, yeah, I'm excited about that. Good to call you Dr. Favor. Yeah, isn't that crazy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. People that know me out there know better. <laughs> Well, you've been able to take that education and that grasp for knowledge onto the next level as an administrator, as a high school principal. Talk about what you can tell the kids from firsthand experiences is how education is really important. Yeah, without a doubt. Um, the culture here is what I'm trying to create there. How we care about each other, work at a high level, and um, while we're working at a high level, having a lot of fun. I'm trying to create the culture at, North, at, um, at Cooper, what I had at North Dakota State. Uh, since I've been here, I've been meeting with people because, you know, we are kind of a, right outside of an urban setting and we're, I've been fundraising for coats and um, getting some of the people in the community to help us out so that our kids can have coats and um, make sure that everybody eats lunch, you know, some of those little things that I didn't have to worry about growing up. I didn't have to worry about it here at NDSU because everybody took care of each other. How did your kids respond when you told them that you were being inducted to the Hall of Fame? Well, honestly, I didn't tell them. I didn't tell them. Uh, when they found out, some of the teachers put up this picture of me in, in their classrooms, and it started to spread. But, you know, they're proud of me as I am of them. And, you know, this, this was great. This was a great opportunity for me to learn and uh, have some fun playing football. But, um, you know, we got to get focused on learning and education. That's really what it's about. Definitely, Coach. And I, I, I see you walking around, shaking hands. People are taking pictures with you. It, I, I mean, talk, talk about how it feels years later to come back and still have people know exactly who you are. I think it feels good. What's important is when we were here, we did things right. We did things, as they say, the bison way. And that's doing things right, not cutting corners. So that was a good feeling. I know you still have the itch to be a high school coach. You had your nose in your, your football team down there at Robbinsdale Cooper. You guys went 4-4 four and four this year, but I mean, are, are you, any hunger to become a head coach again at the high school level? Uh, I wish I could. I have to stay away from coaching. we got a great coach down there. His name's Willie Howard. He played with the, the Vikings 
was drafted out of, you know, to, the, uh, to Minnesota, played with the Vikings, but most important, he's a Stanford graduate. I want my kids, our kids, to see a, a guy who played at a high level and graduated as well. Definitely, I know that's very important. We talked about education, we talked about football, we talked about family. I, I, I see you're bringing the family members around and sharing this with your family. Talk about that importance as well. Well, when I was here in Fargo, I called some people I called my Bison family, Denise and Stan Thompson. Dr. Thompson passed away on my drive up here. So it was tough to bury him. I buried him on Friday, and we're celebrating on Saturday. I wish he was here. He's a great man. Um, I feel for his wife. I love her. Uh, she's a wonderful lady. But they, they took me in, and they made me part of this community, part of this family, and they will always be my mom and dad. Well, you'll always be family here at NDSU. Sure. You'll always be a legend. Thanks a lot, Mike Thank Favor. Um, we'll be back with more on the Proceed Halftime Report. Dan and LT will recap the first half. Your pet really enjoys being...